Hi guys, I'm Izzy. And I'm Jake. And in June, we quit our jobs and booked a one-way flight to backpack around the world. We have decided to make videos along the way of travel tips, advice, how to backpack on a budget, and general vlogs of what we get up to. If you would like to follow us on our journey, please subscribe and enjoy the video. Morning guys, it is 8am and, and today we leave Malaysia and we head to Singapore. We are up to Singapore. We um, are doing our first ever overland crossing today, which we're a little bit nervous about by bus. So um, our bus leaves at 10am and it's 8am, so we're giving ourselves two hours to get there because the tra traffic is literally so bad here. So um, yeah, we're giving ourselves two hours to get there, we've got to find the ticket counter and things like that, get on the bus. We have our SG arrival card and we're hoping that it's going to be nice and straightforward. Um, they do say on the ticket that they only give you half an hour to go through um, the border crossing so I hope that's going to be enough time as well. Um, but once again we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. So yeah, just stay tuned with us to see what it's like to do an overland crossing from Malaysia to Singapore. We just booked a grab and before when we looked it said it was going to be 50 ringgit and now it's gone down to 38 and then when we just checked again it's gone down to 32 so we're not too sure why the price has changed in the last five minutes but I mean obviously we can't complain but we um still have 80 ringgit left um which we don't really know what we're going to use that for because we leave now and it's not like we can spend it in an airport or anything breakfast. so yeah Jake said we're going to get some breakfast but got to the ticket counter and got our physical tickets and checked in. It's just like a little counter on the side of the road which we didn't expect next to this. Like a slapped bum, <laughs> yeah she didn't look very nice but um, it's next to this massive mall near the Burjaya Times Square so we're just we're an hour and a half early so we're just gonna get some food or something. Yeah. So we're just gonna walk around the mall and get some food until it's time to go. now we had a Starbucks for breakfast and it was like 15 quid. <laughs> We're about to get on the bus. idiot in the world. I, literally I was so stressed but absolutely that was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. You left all your bags on the bus, you literally just went through the door, mm. you got off the bus, went through the door and they stamped your passport and that's it. That's literally it. We even made it through before our buses come through. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. But they didn't even check the SG arrival card. <laughs> I like, actually feel like such an idiot. Oh. 
So I take it back, that was just them stamping our passports on the Malaysia side and we thought we were through and Jake brought cigarettes um, and now we found out we're not in Singapore yet so Jake's gonna have to bin the tabs that he just bought. I thought that was way too easy. <laughs> Nothing in life is ever as easy as it seems. God, we're idiots. I was like, oh, we don't need to show the SG arrival card. Yeah, because we're not through the Singapore border yet. that was more like it there were like bag checks and like proper like immigration things so yeah we are officially in singapore we're here for two nights but yeah the whole process was really easy even though we thought it was extremely easy at first it was really easy overall yeah, so i was just like being in an airport nothing. <laughs> literally just like being in an airport yeah. you put your bags through and then you do it the only thing is they do the manual passport checks mm -hmm. uh, the machine passport yeah. checks rather than the person so, so they can be a bit false mine was taking ages and he was, he was getting pissed off with me so yeah we've now got to make it to our destination point which is the golden mile tower and then we're going to get a taxi or hopefully a grab if we can get wi-fi to our hotel which is a capsule puddle i did want to say as well that we are running quite behind schedule so we were supposed to arrive at our destination point at 3 p.m but it's currently 20 to 4 and we're still just at the immigration point so keep that in mind as well if you're doing it that it's, it doesn't always stick to time but with traffic and everything we can't really blame it oh and the bus was 55 ringgit each for a five hour journey, which is 11 pounds, 11 pounds each, 55. Tenner. Yeah. Wanted to say that I, one of the reasons I was so scared was because on the tickets it says that the bus leaves after 30 minutes of waiting, and um, we're on it now, and they've waited till everybody gets back on. So, again, another unnecessary thing to stress me out. capsule pod and the cover pulls down and that's it in there this is what it looks like on the inside it looks actually really nice and clean yeah it does look really clean really and there's comfy. free laundry because we've got a big bag of laundry to do we're officially in singapore in our hotel we're in like another capsule one it's really cool actually it's really nice 
No TV, but right. we're only, cool. literally only here for two nights, so it's, uh, it's good. And hopefully there's no one above us, so I've got to charge ourselves. <laughs> It was a bit difficult to find. The taxi driver dropped us off, and we were like, "Where is it?" Where are you? Just like, yeah, just get out. <laughs> but you just had to go up some steps to find it. But yeah. Just on the way to get some snacks from 7-Eleven because we're starving, and we're also getting Jake some tabs because he obviously had to bin them before. But uh, yes. So we're just sitting down, and we've had some food, and we um we don't know the exchange rate for Singapore. We just kind of got a bit of money out before coming here, and then we I used our some card. Cigarettes. Yeah, we used our card for 7 Eleven and we just got back here and checked now, and 26 Singapore dollars was 15 pounds. And um, we've been used to like cigarettes costing like £4 pounds pounds. and like, shops being like, like five. I'm gonna have to, but this is the only pack of buying yeah. in Singapore. It, this is why we're literally only here for two nights because it's um, very expensive. God knows how much this sandwich was. <laughs> Probably like five quid. <laughs> so we got an Honestly, it feels really good to be at our hostel though now. Um, and tomorrow is our only full day here. Thank God, really, because it, it's going to be expensive. But we knew that coming here. We knew that this is the second most expensive country in the world. So, yeah. Tomorrow's video is going to be interesting because we were going to try and do a what can $10 get you in Singapore. Um, we'll definitely have to be doing $10 each. <laughs> 